I do yard sales, estate sales, swap meets, other antique dealers. I'm in a network now where other antique dealers know that I'm collecting and so they'll call me if they get some unusual pieces. Um, so I don't have to scout as hard. I have other scouters sometimes out, you know, um, finding things, you know, for me as well. My most prized piece is um, full body shackles that went around the neck, the wrists, and the ankles. And I've been to Africa several times, and going there, it's not like you can just walk out of there with artifacts like that. And so it's like an underground kind of thing. Um, I, and I, I get this knock on the door, because I have put the word out that that's what I was there for get this knock on the door and it's like I think I may have what you're looking for and the actual shackles have been buried and he had to get permission from his siblings in order to sell them to me so that's my that I don't sell you know that's my most prized piece yes or it, it, it was like when they gave me the pilgrimage papers, I, I mean, I think just like every fluid in my body just, you know, um, it, it was just so draining. So yes, you can definitely feel and sense the atmosphere of, um, of what was happening there. And I, I encourage anybody that's able, everybody can just take off and go to Africa, but anybody that's able, you know, save up your lunch money like I did and, <clears throat> excuse me, make that trip to the motherland. I, I think it's so important for us to be able to do that and um, relate. And I also think it's important um, that we kind of bridge that gap between Africans and African Americans. I was recently inducted into a Cameroon family and it's an organization that every year the <clears throat> the African focus exactly and I, I, I think it's so important that we do that um, because their mission is so much needed we, we have to we got to bond on our own within our own um, before even thinking that we can really reach the height of total success with other organizations. I saw that um, in Bill Duke's book. I'm one of Bill Duke's dark girls as well. But sometimes there's that friction within our own, you know, race. So, excuse me. So we definitely have to work on that. My long-term goal is to have, like I said, a museum. I'd really like to have a museum in LA or merge with one of the universities to be able to have the memorabilia exhibited for, um, for all to see. Have been over there, have had uh, the opportunity. I never really met. It's like by the time we set up an appointment to actually sit down with Miss Clayton, she passed. Then I was working with Avery, the son, and then he passed. And um, and so I haven't talked to, I think it's Leroy, the, the other son, uh, recently, but that was a thought as well. Yes, I have a website, www.sableimages.com. Also on Facebook, Sable Images Facebook. And you can reach me by email, info at sableimages.com or uh, gail, G-A-I-L-D-J at sbcglobal.net. And I'd be happy to give you a card that you can um, post as a link to the website as well. Thank you. Thank you.